<sighs> I'm bored. Let's put on some music. What? Oh, wow. Wow! Such music! So lights! Fairy particles! Much wow! Okay, well, yeah, that's enough. So the main thing that's going on are these particles. So we'll talk about the new particle command first, and then I'll show you a bit about how I did the floor. When you type slash particle, you'll get an error message telling you what the arguments we are going to enter stand for. So we'll start with the first argument. That's the type of particle you want to spawn. When you type slash particle space and hit tab, you'll see a list of all the different particles you can use. These are a few examples of the different kind of particles there are, but there are a lot more. The next arguments determine the position of the particle, which is in this case just right above the command block. We will skip these arguments for now, first I'll show you this argument. This argument determines the amount of particles that are spawned once the command block is powered. As you can see, this command block spawns a lot more particles than this one. Now I'll show you what these arguments do. They determine the radius in which the particles spawn. As you can see, when I set these values to 1, the particles are not spawned at the same position anymore. This last argument is kind of interesting. For most of the particles, this just sets the speed of the particles. So when you set this to 1, you can see that the particles sort of explode. Wow. But for some particles, this doesn't work that way. For the note particle and mob spell, for example, instead of changing the speed, this sets the color randomness. So that's what I used over here. Once you put in the music disc, this clock will turn on and these command blocks will spawn all the particles. Now about the disco floor. For that I used the clone command. These commands are all the same and they all clone this stained glass to over there. Just connect all of them with a bit of a delay and BAM! Disco floor. Now when I take out the music disc, I want the disco floor to turn off immediately. The only way to do that is by removing all the redstone wire over here. This fill command removes that entire structure, and when you place the disc again, this clone command will put all the redstone back in place. And that's about it. If you want to look a bit more at the redstone, there's a download link in the description. Oh, one more thing, don't make this number too big, it will crash your computer. Oh, that can have it. <laughs>